morale, the mood around the camp? Uh, no, it was it was obviously a, a really impressive win, so they should rightly be proud of themselves, the lads, because they put an incredible amount of effort. An opening game of the World Cup comes with a lot of pressure and expectation, and they delivered, so, yeah, no, they were um, they're pleased, which they should be. Has it been palpable, that, that release of pressure? Um, I don't know if it's a release of pressure, because you're straight back to um, another game that you have to win um, to move forward, so... Um, it was nice to have the, the day, the extra day, to, to you know live with that emotion a little bit longer and to get over it, but um, straight back to business today. And this evening is top penalised. Is there a need for a bit of consistency? So I think you appreciate that um, what I can't do is talk around this incident or any other that, that may affect um, pre-hearing. Um, it is an invasion sport where you know collisions happen, accidents happen, it's a fast-moving game with incredible athletes, so um, it gives you some insight to what uh, may or may not happen on the field. But I appreciate, lads, that I can't um, I can't elaborate on, on my thoughts on our head knock or any others. But is there any feeling of frustration? And Gregor Townsend said he was obviously frustrated. But is there is there a frustration when there is this lack of consistency? Yeah, you know, again, can't comment on on um, our frustration or anyone else's. Well, we want it as part of our armoury because obviously you've got a, a world-class kicker in George Ford and you keep the scoreboard ticking over, it's obviously a massive advantage, but uh, no, there'll definitely be other things in our armoury this weekend. So we dial things up and what things we yeah. can play. What Billy does is he's obviously got great physical presence um, and it's great to have him back on the training field, but he's really smart, rugby player as well, puts himself in great positions, got great hands, so... He's, he's got more threat than just being a big ball carrier. Um, he's really smart and, and knows when to when to shift it and to give the change the point of contact for other players as well. So, yeah, great for us to have him available. Richard, you're having to spend every minute of it on the prep for this weekend. Yeah, so um, everyone will make sure that they get reps. Um, we won't run it as, um, as completely two separate teams for, um, for a number of reasons, but... Uh, it will be mainly about Japan um, and we need to make sure training is of a level and a standard that anyone who's not involved is getting enough touch to the ball, um, defending enough stuff that when they come in it isn't a, it isn't a shock to them. So I know Owen does, he's incredibly diligent with his, with his work um, and any team Owen Farrell's in, whether it, be, whether it be running as the opposition or not, is competitive and, and he makes sure he's ready to go. So. Uh, no, we, t we tend to have two 15s going at it, so um, he's been very much part of that. Okay, and what are you expecting from Japan? Um, yeah, they like to move the ball about. Um, I think we've identified that at the start of the week today, just reviewing a bit of how they're going to play. Um, we've kind of got an idea now as to, as to what their threats are. Um, so yeah, we're going to kind of come up with a plan now to shut that down. Um, it's going to be exciting. Um, yeah, I think as a team, we're obviously chuffed for the result, um, but a bit like we just said then, um, we've got another game this weekend and our focus quickly shifts onto, onto the performance of this weekend on Sunday. Um, so yeah, we were obviously happy to get our first win, um, but yeah, the attention turns to Sunday now. I appreciate